Yeah, my name is Paul Klein. I'm on the faculty here in the Graduate School of Social Work and chair of the Diversity Committee for our school and our community. And I'm Marianne Lockery. I'm uh, the Associate Director of the Jesuit Refugee Service in Australia and I'm here as a visiting scholar with the school and also with the Centre for Human Rights and International Justice. Yes. The exhibit which is to celebrate 100 years of the birth of Pedro Rupe. It's a celebration of his legacy and Jesuit Refugee Service is seen as his big contribution to the world and also to the Society of Jesus. Here at BC we have a number of Jesuits and now some students who've worked now with Jesuit Refugee Service. So the opportunity to bring the images, some of the images are taken by Jesuits, some of them are taken by uh, great photographers, but to bring those images to make real this issue that we're concerned about and as, as Paul has said to actually show um, the people themselves in situ and for us to have a sense of what Jesuit Refugee Service is on about and why it is that we want to make this difference. Play for us as a community of practitioners and as a community of scholars and as a community who's devoted to addressing the needs of others, especially the marginal, brings real testimony from those who have lived this experience in a way that doesn't just awaken us to their suffering, but it teaches us about the strengths that are hidden in the midst of adversity. Uh, the will to survive, the creativity to carve out a meaningful uh, existence in the most desperate of circumstances. So as a social work practitioner, I'm most attracted to the power and the strength and the resilience that's present in these stories. Students and our faculty are starting to talk about the specific picture or image that has meant the most to them. So even amongst the collection of images and stories, some stand out and strike us in a particular Way. For me, the, the image that stands out most is the image of the man who looks like he is a father and uh, tells the story of being a father, but his most powerful testimony is his surprise that someone uh, would want to remember him and know his name and call him by name. And the, One of the highly toxic features of uh, or the experience of living as a refugee or being displaced is that you have the sense that you're forgotten by the world, that you no longer have a, an identity that's meaningful. And there isn't one image that really strikes me. It's many of the images, they are people, as Paul's saying. And one of the things that we were asked to do as Jesuit Refugee Service is to actually work with the forgotten. We're a work of the Society of Jesus. And we've got a chance to actually be with people who others have forgotten about and moved on to other conflicts, other refugee settings. So these people are the ones that we really companion. And I've seen a number of these images over many years and they're now familiar people to me. So I actually enjoy looking at the pictures even though they're ones that kind of are very evocative. But they're people who stay with me. They're people who remind me of the people I've been with. The people that we strive to accompany when others have moved on.